Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at the volume of rectangular prisms mastery check where you are going to try four on your own here to see if you have volume down. Now if you're looking for an explanation, instruction, or more help, I dropped the link to my instructional video down in the description. So go ahead and check that out and then come back to the mastery check. If you're ready for the mastery check, you should have uh, something to write on and something to write with. When I say pause here in a few seconds, you'll pause the video, complete these four problems, press play when you're ready, check your work with mine to see if you have it down. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. I'm assuming you have those four problems done. So let's go ahead and see how you did. So number one, remember we have two different formulas um, to find the volume of rectangular prisms. I'm going to use volume equals length times width times height and then fill in my dimensions. So we have a length of two times a width of three times a height of two. Now if you considered the length to be this three here at the bottom, and then the two you considered the width, that's fine. If those numbers are mixed up or you considered, um, you know, like I said, the two to be the width and the three to be the length or what have you, that's fine. You'll end up with the same answer. And so for number one, we should have 12 cubic feet, 12 cubic feet circle our answer. Let's move on to number two here. Volume equals length times width times height. Plug in two times two times 12. And we end up with 48 cubic inches. All right, let's go over to number three here. Volume equals length times width times height. Plug in 14 times eight times three. And that will give us a volume of 336 cubic meters. And then number four here, Pay attention, please, because we did not have everything in the same unit. So we have two feet down at the bottom there. That needs to be converted to inches, okay? Everything needs to be the same unit of measurement. So that would be two feet is actually 24 inches. So we did one like that on the instructional video. So always check your dimensions and your units to make sure everything makes sense and everything is the same unit. So volume equals length times width times height. So the length five times the width of 24 inches times the height of eight. And that will give us a volume of 960 cubic feet. So there it is, the uh, mastery check for volume of rectangular prisms. So hopefully you have that formula down and then you're able to complete the problem all the way through. If you need a little bit more help, head back to the instructional video and then give this mastery check another shot. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.